Yes, Secretary, we all know, and it has been said a couple of times here before, that the President did say prior to the passage of this legislation, if you like what you have, you can keep it. And we're continuing to find out that that is not true. Um, I do want to point to the fact that I have been reading this, and I'm almost finished with it, but um, I am astounded with the number of times that it says in here, the Secretary shall establish, the Secretary shall promulgate rules, shall develop standards, the Secretary may develop and impose appropriate penalties, and over and over and over again, uh, a, a lot of authority is given to you as a Secretary, Madam, and where I'm concerned is um, knowing that there was a, um, a Senate hearing where you said you did not consult with the bishops uh, before the administration announced a change in the cons uh, conscience protections. Um, what can we be assured as we move forward that you're going to have an open rulemaking process and that you're going to involve those entities that are going to be impacted by these rules and regulations that need to be written? Congresswoman, I didn't talk to the bishops because the president talked to the bishops and I felt that that was sufficient since he is my boss. Um, we did promulgate a rule in July. We got 200,000 public comments on that rule. We consulted with a whole variety of people in addition to those comments. So this was a very open process. It was a very inclusive process. And I can guarantee you it was a very robust dialogue uh, that went on between July when the initial um, rule was uh, put forward in January when it was finalized. And in those um, comments that you got, were there comments from the entities that were going to be directly affected by this? Absolutely. There were comments from providers, there were comments from women's groups, there were comments from labor organizations, there were comments from university presidents, from religious leaders, from charity groups. Uh, we heard from a whole lot of people. 200,000 comments. Yes, ma'am. Well, it, it doesn't seem... And that was a very open... And process. I hear what you're saying, that the president was the one who met with the bishops and yes. um, had those comments, and I, I guess there was a, a conf or maybe not a communication between um, what was said to the president and then what eventually came out on this, because uh, the bishops were quite surprised to find that this ruling, which they were told... Um, from my understanding, that uh, this was not going to occur and there would be no effect on the way in which they were operating. Again, going back to the president saying, if you like what you have, you can keep it. Well, as you Obviously, understand, churches are totally exempt from this ruling. That has been the place. So the bishops and the churches that they run and their church affiliates are exempted from this rule. Well, it seems to me, again, we're having our freedoms taken away from us. And um, we're, I hope, not going to see that continue as we go through this rulemaking process. And there are a lot of uh, rules to still be made. All right.